Hey everyone, Kalashi Investor back to another video for today. In today's video, we're going to talk about SoFi, the Bank of America upgrade from neutral to buy from $8 to $9. Not much of a difference, but from neutral to buy, that's the big difference. The two main reasons that they give us, one of them has been covered a lot on this channel. The other one, I'm a bit more skeptical, but obviously we're going to have a look at all of that in this video. Share your thoughts down in the comments below as well. And if you want to support me and this channel, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now. Or go to full.com forward slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment. So, so far, it's been a wild ride, right? This year, I believe the stock is down like many growth stocks, 50, 60% or so, but... Unlike other growth stocks, SoFi, the business itself, has actually been doing quite well, especially with the headwinds that it had to deal with. Obviously, the continuous extension of the Students' Loans Act moratorium did not help the company. But as discussed in my last video, this is going to end in 2023, and this is also something that the company has taken into consideration when giving the full year guidance. So that's great, and that's obviously also one of the points that Bank of America has mentioned. So let's have a quick look. So on Wednesday, the bank upgraded the shares from neutral to buy from $8 to $9 on the heels of the student loan payment moratorium ending and its NFL partnership. Now, the NFL partnership, I'm a bit more skeptical about it because it is, well, time sensitive, whereas the student loan moratorium, it's, well, it's going to end in 2023, and that's, that's over. NFL partnership, it has to do with, well, is there a home game? Isn't there a home game? Because as you know, SoFi owns the naming rights of the stadium where the Los Angeles Rams are playing. So the analyst says here, we see potential for a meaningful catalyst path over the next few quarters as SoFi benefits from the student loan payment moratorium ending and its high-profile NFL-aligned marketing investments drive user growth and engagement. And so as discussed in the last video, light at the end of the tunnel here, so President Joe Biden announced he would extend the current moratorium on student loan payments for four months, bring the pause into next year, and that's about it. Now, I'm not going to talk about whether cancelling student debt is good or not, that's maybe a topic for another video, but well, everybody can have their own conclusion on that. But basically, this is going to help SoFi a lot. As payments are set to restart next year, refinancing student loans could increase in the fourth quarter, Bank of America noted, which in turn could add $16 million in revenue and $11 million to adjusted EBITDA to current 2022 estimates, which is not a bad number to add. And then they go on and talk about the NFL and SoFi. So the NFL season has kicked off. If you're not in the United States, you probably have no clue when it kicks off, when there's the playoffs, etc., which is normal. Now, Bank of America expects SoFi could see a lift from its extensive partnership with the league, which includes the naming rights to the league's newest stadium, this one right here, in Los Angeles, which is shared by the Rams and the Chargers. In 2019, the company signed a 20-year naming rights deal for the stadium, which was not cheap at all, just putting it out there. So they expect SoFi's member growth and engagement metrics to improve in the second half of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023 as SoFi benefits from its NFL-affiliated brand marketing. SoFi also recently signed Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert to a three-year endorsement deal that includes an equity stake in the brand. The analyst continues and says that their analysis indicates interest in the SoFi brand inflects higher on Sundays, particularly when LA plays home games. Member growth was also higher in the second half of 2022 versus first half, and our conversation suggests engagement also increases around football games. Now again, do we want to see growth in the business only when there are football games, or do you want to see organic growth? That's the question you should be asking. Obviously, in the short term, we don't mind seeing that marketing growth through NFL games, good for a business. But over the long term, you don't want to see organic growth, not only when they're playing in the home stadium. The analyst ends here and says that the firm offers investors fintech and consumer finance exposure without subprime risk during current macroeconomic uncertainty, 
As such, we think there could be upside to 22 and 23 metrics and shares could re-rate higher as confidence in SoFi's business model and strategy increases. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that we are expecting this to happen already next year. This regarding the NFL deal, just because a headwind will become a tailwind, that's good enough for SoFi as the business. Even with that Student Loan Act, right? even with that repayment struggle, well, pause, let's call it, so far the business has been doing quite well. And as we've seen in the past videos, so far's business is not dominated by loans anymore. Has tremendous amount of products, has Galileo, which is something that a lot of people still forget. So the business itself is going to go into 2023 stronger than ever. And in 2023, it will get that extra boost as well. So overall, pretty bullish on SoFi. Yes, obviously the stock right now does not reflect anything positive. But as we've seen in the past, the market can change quite quickly. Just notice that my light turned off. So maybe that's the end of this video. Obviously, do share your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you been buying? Have you been selling SoFi shares? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.